So in one of my presentations, I discussed about chromosome inversions. While explaining that aspect, I told that there are four different types of structural chromosomal aberrations. One of the structural abnormality is chromosome translocation. In case of chromosome translocation, a segment of one chromosome gets shifted to a non-homologous chromosome. This aspect we can understand in this diagram. See this left side of chromosome is chromosome number 4. You can see this upper portion is short arm of the chromosome 4 and the lower portion is long arm of the chromosome. This one, this constructed portion is centromere. Now a break occurs in the lower portion of this fourth chromosome and the other chromosome here in the middle portion is chromosome 20. So 4 and 20 these are two non-homologous chromosomes and a break also occurs in chromosome 20. Now after this the segment of chromosome 20 suppose gets shifted to chromosome 4. As a result of this in the right side we can see the chromosome number 4 which has a small portion of chromosome 20. So this has resulted into translocation. You, we can say that chromosome 4 is a translocated chromosome because it has a portion of chromosome 20. Now here we can understand the type of uh, translocation particularly reciprocal translocation. Reciprocal means there will be exchange of chromosome segments between two non-homologous chromosomes. So this is chromosome number 4 in the left side. This one is chromosome 4. Then um, just right to this is chromosome 20. And as I just said, two breaks occur. One is occurring in chromosome number 4 and the other break is occurring is in chromosome number 20. Now here in this case, the segment of chromosome 4 gets shifted to chromosome 20 and the broken segment of chromosome 20 is now coming and joining with the chromosome number 4. So there is exchange of chromosome part between chromosome 4 and chromosome number 20. Now the consequence of this shifting will be that see in the after um, diagram we are observing that this one is chromosome number 4 which is having a translocated part of the uh, chromosome 20, this lower portion. And in case of chromosome 20, you see this long portion is of chromosome 4. So this has happened because of reciprocal translocation. Now there may be certain individuals which may have normal sequence of genes as well as they have translocated portions of the chromosome. Like in this diagram, we are observing that these two non-homologous chromosomes, to which we considered as 4 and 20, they are normal chromosomes. They have completely normal, you know, gene arrangement on them. And the chromosome 20 is also normal. But the other two chromosomes are having translocated portions, like reciprocal translocations are there between these two chromosomes. So such individual who will carry these chromosomes, these four chromosomes, that is these two small chromosomes with trans, one with normal arrangement, other with translocation. Likewise, the long chromosomes with normal gene arrangement and with translocation will be considered as translocation heterozygote. So such kind of cases are there not only in case of humans, but you can find uh, the cases of translocation heterozygotes in plants and several different species of animals like in uh, Drosophila also, you will find such translocation heterozygotes are there. Uh, the example of translocation we can understand in this diagram, say this is the chromosome karyotype of a human being where all the 23 pairs of chromosomes are shown see 22 pairs of autosomes are here up to 22 pairs we can see the autosomes and then x and y chromosomes are there so this is actually the chromosome complement of a male individual now what we are observing in this diagram that chromosome 21 is 
two in number which should be uh, normally there but then the uh, third you know 21 chromosome is translocated to chromosome one of the chromosomes of 14 so here this arrow indicates the translocation portion that is translocated 21 chromosome on chromosome 14. So it is a case of trisomy actually 21 chromosome if it is found in the number 3 means maternal paternal and one more copy of it is there then we can say that it is a case of trisomy. But here uh, independent 21 chromosome is not there rather it its major portion is translocated to chromosome 14. So we know that trisomy of chromosome 21 results into Down syndrome. But here in this case also, the individual having this kind of chromosome complement will be suffering from Down syndrome because there is trisomy of chromosome 21. So in this diagram, we are, up, we are seeing trisomy of chromosome 21 due to translocation at chromosome 14. So the phenotype will be exactly similar to the Down syndrome. Now in case of humans, another very common kind of occurrence is Philadelphia chromosome. See how this happens. This one is chromosome 9. Okay, this is chromosome 9 and the other chromosome is chromosome 21. So there may be exchange of chromosome parts between chromosome 9 and chromosome 22. So this leads into Philadelphia chromosome. Actually, this chromosome 22, it is having translocated part of chromosome 9. And because of this translocation, two genes, that is BCR and ABL, they come close to each other. And this translocation actually results into a serious kind of disease uh, that is chronic myeloid leukemia, uh, which is a kind of blood cancer. And it is really a very serious and fatal disease. So that happens because of this translocation. Now I'm going to discuss the consequence of translocation heterozygote because I just talked that if two chromosomes are normal, two non-homologous chromosomes are normal and other two chromosomes of the same type are having translocation, then such individual will be translocation heterozygote. So what would be the consequence of uh, this kind of chromosome complement that we can understand and that we uh, can understand means this kind of thing will be applicable in every sort of organism whether it is a case of plant or animal so we can see the origin of translocation particularly reciprocal translocation I have just explained this aspect but even then we can see that this is a chromosome suppose on which the genes are arranged as capital A B, C and D. These four genes are located on this chromosome and the other chromosome uh, is having genes on it as K, M, N, O. So this, these two are non-homologous chromosome. Now there is exchange of chromosome parts between the two. So because of chromosome segment exchange, we have now this chromosome as having genes A, B, C and K and its non-homologous chromosome will have genes arranged on it as D, M, N, O. So we can say that this portion K of uh, this left, uh, this right side of chromosome has come to this one and its uh, D gene has got shifted to a non-homologous chromosome. So these two are the chromosomes which are the translocated one and the chromosomes in the left side, these two are the normal chromosomes. So if an individual is having normal chromosomes, okay, normal means those two which are shown in the left side and the translocated chromosome, that is these two which are shown on the right side, then such individual will be translocation heterozygote and we can see that what will happen during gametogenesis. Actually the germ cell, germ cells which will carry such kind of chromosomes, they will uh, be undergoing meiotic division. So during meiosis 1, prophase 1 and uh, in prophase 1 we know that there is packet in stage when the uh, chromosomes, the, uh, particularly the homologous chromosomes, they will be coming close to each other. There will be synaptic pairing between homologous chromosomes. 
since uh, these two means this particular chromosome you see on the uh, upper side this particular chromosome will have its sister chromatid because it will be totally duplicated all along its its length so the genes arranged on it are a b c and d now the other chromosome is having translocation portion particularly this k portion has come to it but its a b c this much portion will be pairing with it and it's this portion this lower portion will not be able to pair with the rest of the portion so and other you see this non homologous chromosome is having gene arrangement as k m n o and its translocated portion on this will be pairing with k likewise this one with the translocation portion of d will be pairing with this one and the remaining portion will be pairing with this k uh, m n o okay so you will we will have this cross like structure this kind of structure will be seen when there will be meiosis 1 particularly prophase 1 and uh, it will be actually packet in stage so this kind of situation will be there then after this pairing the segregation of chromosomes will be occurring because these chromosomes will have to get distributed into the gametes so here itself we can understand that what would be the fate of gametes see there would be three different kinds of segregation pattern one will be segregation uh, where the adjacent chromatids will be going together the other situation will be there will be alternate segregation of chromatids so we will find that if the chromatids going in alternate manner will be happening then such gametes will be of normal you know type and if adjacent chromatids will be going together then such gametes will be abnormal we can understand it that if we consider this chromatid suppose this particular upper one with genes a b c d if this particular chromosome is going with this adjacent one that is a b c and k so if these two chromosomes will go together in a gamete then we will find that that gamete will be abnormal because in that gamete a b c d okay these four genes are there on the chromosome but the other chromosome will be lacking the genes like uh, m n o okay m n o genes will be absent and a b c will be in duplicated form so there will be duplication and deletion of genes so such gamete will not be viable likewise if this a b c d this particular chromosome is going along with this upper you know right side that is d m n o in that case also there will be abnormality in the gamete because a b c d genes will be there along with this d so there will be a kind of duplication and m n o will be there so you can say that k is missing in that gamete k k gene is missing so there will be deletion and there will be duplication of d so that gamete will also not be normal now in third situation we if, if we consider alternate segregation that is if this particular chromosome with a b c d if it is going with this alternate means you leave one and then come to this okay so if it is going with m n o in that situation we will have normal you know gamete because a gamete having a b c d and k m n o will have all the genes required and that gamete will only be normal so we should understand that if the adjacent chromatids or chromosomes will be going into the gamete then that gamete will be abnormal because it will carry either uh, deletion or duplication of uh, genes then if the upper these two adjacent one go together in that situ case also similar situation will be there abnormal gametes will be formed but if we consider such situation in which alternate segregation is there that is uh, 
and in case of alternate you know if this one is going along with this one in that case also what we are observing that a b c and k and here the uh, translocated one these two are going so such gamete will be actually having translocated chromatids but it will also be a normal gamete so this one along with this one will form normal gamete and this one this one is specific chromosome along with one of this side will also be a normal gamete okay so only in case of alternate segregation normal gametes will be formed whereas in case of adjacent segregation normal gametes will not be formed at all now in this uh, slide you can see some of the things are mentioned here that is translocation can be harmless or they may have devastating effects depending on how the position of genes are altered with respect to regulatory sequences so this aspect we can understand this way that uh, the translocation may cause serious problems or sometimes if all the genes are located and if their uh, means uh, regulatory uh, regulation is not being hampered then that will not leave any uh, abnormal effect then notably specific translocations have been associated with several cancers 